The young lady that you're about to see is an internationally known touring artist. This young lady has already had number one hits with songs like This Is Your Night, If You Could Read My Mind. Well, she's back with our latest top ten hit sexual. Please give it up for Tommy Boy recording artist Amber. Give it up for Amber. 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 <laughs> batting average is a thousand out of the five songs she delivered to KTU all five have been smashes power rotation if you could read my mind love what a just like a I'm very disciplined I'm in there with my heart and soul because as everybody knows that is an artist that it's a it's a very tough job you have to have it within you you never see me doing drugs you never see me drink it's something that you have to know exactly what you're doing. It's very hard to become a core artist. The only way you become a core artist is by delivering hit records. It has to be more than one. It has to be more than two. I did this dance song, This Is Your Night, and um, it just happened to go up so fast that I was not prepared. When we received the song, This Is Your Night, we put it on KTU, and it became a smash for us and one of the most played songs for the year of 1996. Dancing free until the morning light Together forever cause this is your night I think she has more airplay here at the Beat of New York than any other radio station in the country. She delivered after This Is Your Night, One More Night. She delivered Above the Clouds, which is her current single. If we had known it would be so hard What we have said on this road together Now when I look into your eyes I can see forever She's also delivered Sexual, which is a club anthem. One of the best things about Amber was the collaboration with Jocelyn Enriquez and Ultra Mate because it, it branched her out to a mass appeal pop sound with the remake of If You Could Read My Mind and Stars on 54. And their next motion pictures uh, received the track while they were editing and the guy said, the director said, oh my god, I love this track. We have to actually have you guys in the movie. So they wrapped the whole movie open again and we went to the original Studio 54 movie here. And we performed in disgusting 80s clothes, big hair, big earrings. Not, I mean, just to even think that you were really walking around like that in that time, but like you really did. But looking back now, it's like, oh God, how embarrassing. It was so much fun. Never thought I'd feel this way. Never thought to say that I just don't get it. I don't like this categorization of, oh, dance, pop. What is dance? Just a faster beat and people can dance to it, but then again, people can dance to rock. My best therapy is writing it out. I take the pen and I just write lyrics. It comes out and it doesn't stop until I have worked it out in writing. And I think it, it, dancing is the same kind of therapy for a lot of people, that they can get rid of all the stress and the things they're going through. It's a, it's a different body expression. I was so fortunate to be able to write with Billy Steinberg and Rick Knowles, writers for Celine Dion, Madonna. We were thinking about writing two songs together. I said, I would like to write a song about the outlook on society, you know, the, the bad things that I'm seeing, and just basically letting people know how simple it is actually to get along. If you just show a little bit of respect and love, it would just be a better place. Isn't it just that simple? Thanks to Tommy Boy Records for free CD singles of Amber's new song for everyone in our live studio audience today. Yes. Yes. I just finished yes. actually doing a Walt Disney soundtrack, so that's really, really? cool. Oh, I just fun. sent some stuff out for Britney Spears, for Christina Aguilera, for Cher. 
So uh, that's what I'm doing. Wow. On the side. Yeah. On the side. Oh, on the side. Oh, on the side. Oh, on the side. Oh, side. Oh, side. Some, some friends of mine. Right, right. <laughs> right. You always have to have it in your mind. One day you're up, one day you're down. But more or less, I always keep telling people, no matter what, if I'm successful or not, music will always be a part of my life because that's how I was raised. It's a way of expressing myself, and I need to express myself in music.